Hey everybody and welcome to the Quadcopter Review. I'm your host Pepe Prawns and as always when I ask you to like this video, make a comment if you like about anything, and add it to any of your social networks out there, that'd help out a bunch. Don't forget to be a subscriber, subscribing helps us grow, liking and commenting helps us on the YouTube search engine. At the top here you'll always see on any of my videos links to any of the latest giveaways, that playlist, so you can check that out and get in on some of the giveaways going on. So today we're here to take a look at the Newbie Drone Acrobee B-Brain Lite Mockingbird Edition. So here it is guys, a little bit different, uh, very much the same, you're probably going to ask yourself why get the Mockingbird version. Uh, being that it's so similar to just the standard Acrobee Be Brain Light. But the difference is, you know, you get this blue canopy here, you get the black frame. You're also going to get this nifty box that you don't normally get with an Acrobee. And this box being a little bit different, you, as you can see, you can uh, slide your little quad right down here in the front. You got plenty of spaces for your batteries. Room to throw an extra set of props in there too as well. You got your puller, so you can add all these things. A little bit of space in there. So a little bit different of a box. Um, very similar to. Uh, I asked them and they didn't quite get what I was saying, but very similar to how their new RTF kit's going to go. Uh, the front of that RTF kit's going to go, and you're going to slide your quad in there too. So we're also going to be testing today. We've got the plaid motors in there, so the new motors by Newbie Drone. Um, these are going to fit. You probably saw in my giveaway, maybe. If not, look up there. Get in on the giveaway. But the plaid motors are a little bit different. They are a little bit stronger here than these golds that come with the um, Mockingbird project one we get those gold motors on those four blade props I've switched mine out for these plaids and these two blade props and those plaid motors as I mentioned are going to fit right between your golds and your unicorn motors if you look up to the top right right now I'll send you a link to my unicorn motor review <coughs> but what we got is we're gonna take these up and we're gonna do uh, a little test on those now here is your standard acro B uh, be rain light. Um, yes, you could just get that one and you could put Project Mockingbird on it. They have um, the what you need for the uh, CLI out there for you to pick up and add to it. Um, again, what goes on with this Project Mockingbird version though is some of the funds uh, from the sales are actually going to go to the creator of Project Mockingbird. So this is Newbie Drone making a little set to give back. So look for the links below, check out Newbie Drone and check out all the wares they have to show. And let's put this guy in the air and see what we think. So going into this right off the bat, I'll tell you my honest opinion and that is the B-Brain light board is so good by itself for me. I couldn't see a massive difference uh, with Project Mockingbird on it. Um, maybe better suited for the racing environment. You'd, you'd feel more. I, I don't race mine. There's not really any of those kinds of clubs around here to do that. So as far as Acro goes, I mean... A little bit better maybe but but again the board is so good right off the bat you know when you get one if you don't have one uh, that I highly recommend you at least need to go out and get a B-Brain light board uh, it is so stable and so nice it's definitely worth checking out if you have the funds now as far as these plaid motors go wonderful um, definitely I can feel a difference in performance from the golds it's not huge because we're not making that huge leap into any of our, our unicorn style motors which are just ludicrous to fly but the plaids are definitely a good spot in the middle of course we are sacrificing efficiency in order to do that so I'm getting you know I, I, I stopped you'll see I'm stopping right literally probably like on three four three three uh, which probably would bounce me back you know over uh, a good um, a good stopping point so I probably could have got more out of it but I'm getting about 245 out of it and I usually get about 340 out of the golds um, so we're, we're gonna sacrifice some of that for for the increase in speed and such so that keep in mind if you're going to get any of the motors that you will be sacrificing a little but they're $20 uh, $21.99 I think to get a set of venoms with the plaids so in the grand scheme of things in this hobby that's dirt cheap to get a set of motors to try out so it's definitely worth worth checking out and and they do have you know a nice easy pace about them too you can run them nice and slow as you can see here i'm at my wife's uh first baby shower so just kind of 
infiltrating there she was um and, and you can go nice and slow and then you can rip at the same time so they're they're very very nice motors um you know they always put out great products at newbie drone so but like i said i mean as far as like a huge difference if you you know you were to say to me all right you gotta get the project knocking i don't know about all that um I, I bought it because I want to give back to the guy that put all the effort into the project. I've been following it for, what, like a year and a half now. I put it on way back in the beginning of my videos. You'll find one where I put it on an Eosheen Q60 or whatever it was. Um, so I've definitely been following him a long time and, and appreciate what he's doing. So I felt it was worth giving back to the guy. So that's what I did. As you can see, um, it's handling Acro pretty decently. It is, you know, it's a brushed quad. So, I mean, a brushed whoop at that. So there's a, a lot of things about that that will, will not make, you know, this fly like a five inch. Um, so, you know, it's doing well for what I expect for it to do. I, I know I had to, just had to fly this property coming to this, uh, this shower that my friend's uh, husband just has this amazing piece of property here where his house is on is just loaded up with all this beautiful stuff to fly in anyways guys as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe happy flying hey guys thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review if you want to see more interesting reviews on fpv related stuff take a look up here in the old right corner right there you'll find links to all the rest of my reviews if you want to get in on some of the best giveaways on YouTube look over here don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin and if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel check that out right here and thanks for coming don't forget to subscribe and happy flying